Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hello, students, how are you? Okay, today we discuss about class 10th chapter 1 real numbers. Okay, so theorem 1.3. This is the new syllabus for AP, it is a CBC syllabus. Okay, 2024 25. So, theorem 1.3 prove that root 2 is irrational number. So, irrational number means what? The number cannot be expressed in the form of p by q form. Okay, so the number which is non terminating, non recurring decimal number. Okay, is called irrational number. Cannot be write in the form of p by q form. So, here prove that root 2 is irrational. So, here in real number system, there is only two types of numbers are there. What are there? Rational and irrational. So, that given that root 2 is irrational number, prove that root 2 is irrational. How we can prove? By using contradiction method. By using contradiction method. What is called contradiction method? First, we can take that it is not a irrational. Let us take it is rational number. Okay, which rational number it is? Simple rational number. Okay, so then finally we can prove that it is not a rational, it is a irrational number. So here, by using convection method, so let us take, let us take root 2 is a is root 2 is a simple rational number simple rational number so what is called simple rational number a number which is in the form of p by q form okay where p and q are co primes co primes what there is no common factor okay for numerator and denominator there is no common factor Okay, that number is called, that numbers are called co primes. So, here, a number which is in the form of P by Q, P and Q are co primes. Q is not equal to 0. It is called simple rational number. So, that is, root 2 is equal A by B. Then, A, B are co primes. A, B are co primes. So here co primes what? There is no common factor between A and B. So B is not equal to 0. So here root 2 is equal A by B. In left side there is square root. In right side there is A by B. So square root means what the exponent form? 1 by 2. So how we can remove the square root? By using square on both sides. In left side there is square root. So we can remove the square root. How we can do that? Square on both sides square on both sides. That is root 2 whole square is equal a by b whole square. So square root is what? 1, one by 2 the exponent form. 2 power 1 by 2 whole square. So here a power m whole power m is equal a power m into m. That is equal to 2 power 1 by 2 into 2. 2 2 cancel. That is equal to how much? 2. So here square square root cancel. You can get 2 is equal a by b whole square here a by b whole power m is equal a power m by b power m so that is a, a square by b square a square by b square here b square divide come to left side open multiply okay that is 2 b square is equal a square so 2 multiply this 2 is going to side open divide b square is equal a square by 2 so here 2 is a which number prime number so any number is divided by prime number then its square is also divided by prime number so for example here um, 9 is divided by 3 yes 9 is divided by 3 how much you can get 3 9 square is how much 81 so 81 is also divided by 3 how, mu how much you can get 27 so, if any number is divided by prime number, then its square is also divided by prime number. So, here a square is divisible by 2, then a is also divisible by 2. Okay, so that is here. You know that? 
we know that a square is divisible by 2 divisible by 2 so we take another example 10 is divisible by 2 yes, so when it divided by 2 we can get the quotient is how much 5 10 square is how much 100 so 100 is also divisible by 2 Okay, so here a square is divisible by 2, then a is also divisible by 2. So when it is divisible, the remainder is 0. So when it is divisible, then the divisor is a factor of a dividend. So here a, a is also divisible by 2, that is 2 is a factor of a. So that is 2 is a factor of a so is a factor of a and and a is multiples of 2 if it is a factor then a is a multiples of 2 so that is a is equal to m so what the a value to m so here a is multiples of 2 that is a value is how much 2 m so here b square is equal to a square by 2 let us take it is equation 1 so here the a value you can substitute in a value you can substitute in equation 1 so what that equation 1 b square is equal to a square by 2 so a value substitute in equation 1 so what that equation 1 b square is equal to a square by 2 that is a value is how much 2 yeah. a is multiples of 2 so here yeah, 2 is a factor of a then a is a multiples of 2 so that is a 2m whole square by 2 so here yeah, 2m whole square a b over power m a power m into b power m so here the square for both 2 and m we can add as 2 square 2 square m square by 2 that is 2 square 4 m square by 2 to 1 ja to 2 ja that is b square is equal to m square 2 multiply come to the left side of the divide so b square by 2 is equal to m square so here you can observe here b square is divided by 2 you can get how much m square so that means what here b square is divisible by 2 then b is also divisible by 2 so here b square is divisible by 2 divisible by 2 then b is also b is also divisible by 2 when it is divisible, the divisor is a factor or divisor of a dividend. So here what the divisor 2? So 2 is a factor of B. 2 is a factor of B. So here, here 2 is a factor of and also before 2 is also a factor of A. So therefore 2 is a common factor. 2 is a common factor of A and B. So, but our assumption is wrong. What is our assumption? A and B are co-primes. Co-primes means there is no common factor. But here, A and B, what the common factor? 2. So, therefore, our assumption is wrong. Our assumption is wrong. So, therefore, root 2 is an irrational number therefore root 2 is an irrational number so therefore hence root so in this theorem we can use one property what is that any number is divided by prime numbers so like 2 3 5 7 and so on then their square is also divisible by same prime number Okay, that is the main property we can use here. Okay, so here we can use the method contradiction method. Contradiction method means what? So what what is the given number? That is not a number. 
let us take another number finally you can say that it is a rational it is not a rational it is a irrational number contradiction method okay thank you for watching my videos please subscribe our youtube channel and share your friends thank you